Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to make some super fun resin coasters. Um, these are aluminum coasters. They're alu rims from Craft Shop Metals. This is the rose gold color. Really pretty. And these are awesome. You can do acrylic paint inside. You can resin inside. You can do basically anything. You could fill it with glitter if you wanted to. You can also paint on the other side. I'll put the uh, link in the description to check those out. I also just got some Arteza mica powders and I just opened this. You guys, it is so exciting. Check this out. Look at all these fun colors. And it comes with a cute little spoon. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick out my colors for these. We're using Stone Coat Countertops Countertop Epoxy because it has heat resistance, scratch, resi scratch resistance, etc. So you'll be able to put hot cups on these. Resin is not, it doesn't absorb, so not the best for cold drinks, to be honest. You could put a, a paper towel or something down though and put your cold drink down. And you can definitely use it for cold drinks that just won't absorb the water, obviously. So this particular resin is mixed 50-50. It's got um, a hardener and then a resin. Not all resins are mixed the same, but that's how this one is mixed. And then you want to add only about 10% up to maximum 15% of the powder versus the resin. Otherwise your resin will not cure. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out my colors, get this all mixed up, and then we'll be back for our fun project. All right, we're back. I've got everything mixed up. So the colors I went with are Bubblegum Glow, which is like an interference color. So it's like a pearl color with a hint of pink. And then I went with Light Plum, which is very similar to the magenta. And then a Wineberry Red, which is like a dark maroon-ish color. And last minute, I decided to go with the Just Resin Bright Gold Paste. I'm going to show you this stuff is amazing. Look how sparkly that is. So I'm going to use that as just like a, an, a little accent. This you can get from the Artist Till Death website. I will put all materials in the description. Okay, let's get started. So this is that bubblegum color. The bubblegum glow. And I'm going to start with that. A key thing about these is you want to avoid getting it on the rim if you can. Uh, but if you do get it on the rim, just go ahead and clean it off while it's wet. You can easily wipe it off. Getting it off after it's dry is a little more troublesome. And I'm going to just quickly add, answer some commonly asked questions about these panels. So one question I get is, do you peel the projects out afterwards? The answer is no, these are not molds and you wouldn't be able to peel them out because there's a lip and it goes underneath that. So these are meant to stay in there. Um, and then two is, isn't this just like a pizza pan? Can't I get this like anywhere? I saw something similar at blah, blah, blah store. These are actually special panels made for artists and they are treated with materials that prevent rusting, warping, and all kinds of things. So these are not just plain old aluminum. And please check out Craft Shop Metals website. You can read all about their process. They're an American made company. They're really cool guys. Um, so definitely check it out, read up on their product because it's actually really cool. They have all different sizes. They've got big like 18 inch ones. They've got 12 inch ones. And um, you know, check on my YouTube channel for some other videos I've made using their panels. They have them in different colors as well. So they have silver, gold, black, and rose gold I think are the colors they have right now. And they're always, always developing new products really great company. All right, this is the pink. I think these are going to be really pretty. All right. 
Now I'm gonna go in here. So the red and the gold are kind of just meant to be accent colors, not using a ton of either of these. And this should be fine, like alone, but you could also put, you know, paint whatever you want in here and then put a layer of clear resin over it later. All right, at this stage, I'm gonna heat it up and move these around a bit. So just have a little cooking torch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just gently tilt these. Once again, keeping it within the lines. You don't want it to go over. Check out that, um, the like bubblegum pink. You can kind of see it shimmering on the top there. Really pretty. I'm loving these colors. And I think they accent with that rose gold color very well. If you're looking into making um, your art into a business, these also do sell very well. And of course you can take the materials into consideration in your pricing. And of course they just make good gifts as well. All right. So you can probably tell that I haven't put a lot of resin in here. Overall, I'm using about maybe three ounces total on all these coasters. So it's not using a lot at all. And I probably won't even use up all three ounces. And last one. I'm going to add a little more to this one. Let's add a little more of this. Going to heat it up again. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to get in here with the gold. I love this. This is my favorite gold to use with resin. And that is because, um, well, first of all, it's just really shiny, really, really shiny. And I love the way that it kind of sits on top of the other colors. It is gorgeous. I would probably use this in like every painting if I could, because it's that pretty and definitely great as an accent color. All right, I think at this stage, I'm actually gonna hit this with a heat gun and move the resin around a bit and then we'll be done. All right, you guys, I'm very happy with these. I'm gonna let them dry and we'll come back tomorrow and see how they look. All right, guys, we're back. These are dry. They're not gonna be moving any more than they have already. Look how soft and beautiful these are. You can see that gold at an angle, how it kind of sits on top. And of course, these are not identical. They're all different, but they go together very well as a set. And there you have it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. Check out uh, the Craft Shop Metals and Arteza. They're awesome. And I will see you all next time.